Hello, everyone. I hope that you're doing well. My name is Chris Petty, and uh, I am curriculum director, course designer, and instructor at DubSpot in New York City. I organized some basic patches, so I'm gonna add one more sound to the mixture here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my sawtooth sound, and let's drop it here onto the MIDI track. And let's go ahead and check out the zone control. So this is again, one of these detuned sawtooth types of sounds, but I don't want it to be one of these obnoxiously loud types of things that goes on in the mixture here. What I wanna do is I wanna make it so that it kind of laces into what's already going on and doesn't intrude upon it. So the first place I'm gonna start is with my volume envelope. And I don't want the sound to come in at once. What I want it to do is I basically want it to reach its peak and then drop off dead at the bottom. And let's go ahead and change the filter type. And we're gonna go ahead and apply filter envelope to this as well. So let's go ahead and back off the attack and what we might do is actually shape it exactly like the volume envelope. Okay, so let's add a little bit of space and dimension to this also. In addition to having these MIDI effects, the Max for Live suite also includes instruments and audio effects, and one of the greatest additions to Live 9 is the idea of convolution reverb. Convolution is actually a DSP-based function where what it does is more or less it takes two different pieces of audio and takes the characteristics from one and superimposes it on the other. So convolution has become very, very popular with using it in reverbs because what people do is they sample impulses through a space. An impulse through a space could be a chirp or it could be like a hand clap. And essentially it's a very short sample. So if I was gonna make an impulse response for this room, I would clear everybody out of here and I would record just a single clap and catch all the reverberation of the room and what's happening. The convolution reverb then does some very sophisticated and very fancy math where basically what it allows you to do is drop these impulses. It actually comes with a suite of impulses. Logic has a convolution reverb. Cubase has a convolution reverb. Altiverb, if you've ever heard of that, is a convolution reverb as well. But this is really kind of the latest rage in reverberation units, simply because it provides a much higher degree of realism than mathematic or algorithmic reverbs can do. This is what existed in hardware. Convolution reverbs are kind of a sign of the time, and they're really a result of the modern computer age. This is not something that ever existed inside hardware simply because it's got too much math going on in it um, and really requires a computer processor to be doing this in real time. So if you take a look at what's going on here, this is an impulse and I can choose between different types of spaces. So let's go here and choose a bigger, let's choose a hall. And from the hall, I can choose between different spaces. They've given you a ton of different spaces to choose from, but the cool thing about this is, is that I can actually take any audio from live or from anywhere on my computer and drop it directly onto the faceplate here to create my own convolution reverbs. So this is one of the things, yeah, I do it with the iPhone as well too. I was out in the middle of the night underneath the freeway here and there were some very nice reverberations coming and everything. So I had my friend hold the phone while I did a clap and we caught it and uh, I need to go home and play with it and doctor the sample up so that it will actually work with the convolution reverb. So let me go here to Concert Hall HA and other than the idea of the impulse response that goes into it, 
And just, just so that we're clear on the idea of an impulse response, it's not like you can take a recording of a drummer that's playing a drum beat in a concert hall and say, wow, I really like the way that that concert hall sounds. Let me take the whole drum beat and drop it in. It's not going to work like that. It's got to be a simple impulse through the space. So a clap usually works. There are different tools that um, will generate frequency responses as well. Logic has an impulse response utility that basically will generate a solid tone that goes up through the entire frequency range, starting with 20 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz. So really the idea with a convolution reverb and an impulse response is, is that there really is no such thing as a perfect impulse. The perfect impulse would be every single, would be accounting for every single band of the frequency range. And we try to get it as close as possible. The convolution reverb then is able to interpolate and guess the rest of what's going on by some fancy math going on inside it. So the convolution reverb is also part of the Max for Live suite. And I've just gone ahead and applied it to this unison saw sound. So let's listen to what the swells sound like from this now with everything being cut off and dying off. So as you can see, there's also some other sophisticated controls on the convolution reverb, such as being able to EQ the reverb response and also change the position of where you are in the room and experiencing the reverb as well. So if you haven't checked this out, it's part of the Max for Live thing. It's, it's part of Live 9 Suite. So now that I've gone ahead and applied this, I simply want to have again, following this with the two notes swelling simply the way that the other bass part works. So let's go ahead and set this to E. And let me go ahead and duplicate this loop. And I'm going to duplicate it one more time so that it's exactly five, four measures. And let's go ahead and get rid of that. And let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then let's take this E and set it up to G. And now I'm going to take both of these notes, drag them out like this, hit the fold button so that we see only the two notes, and let's solo this out and let's listen to this. And I'm just going to tweak it a little bit with the envelopes and with the filter just to get everything happening exactly the way that I want it to. So as you can see, I really didn't have to do too much as far as playing in here. And really, the MIDI effects are really a great tool to be able to manipulate patches and manipulate sounds and compose the musical parts that you may not necessarily have the dexterity to be able to play in. Coupling this with original sampling and sounds from unique sources, because this is really what it comes down to. We live in this time and age where anybody who has the same computer as me could probably have exactly the same instruments on it if you want to go the software range and all of this. So again, I'll say that the sampler is really 
my favorite instrument that's ever been created, and I think it's the most powerful instrument in any type of setup, simply because it can be an extension of your ear. Every sound that you hear, everything that you hear, whether it's sounds from synthesizers, sounds in nature, it can all be translated and funneled through the sampler into your own musical creations. Listen, I want to thank all of you for coming to the workshops. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, if you are interested in checking anything more out about the school, it's www.dubspot.com. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.